guys welcome back to the channel today i'll be showing you a quick update to my hybrid cooling solution for my rtx 2080 ti so earlier this week i bought a nzxd kraken g12 bracket with an nzxd kraken x72 360 millimeter all-in-one cooler now um, i was running this in a push configuration with only three fans but i've now opted to run a push pull configuration with noctua uh, fans i'll put the link in the description to the fans i'm using and this kind of reduces the noise and I can run a higher um, RPM as well with the same around um, same amount of noise from the stock fans, which isn't too loud, by the way. And um, also, I've opted to remove the glass panel from the top of my Take, um 71T view. And um, this was trapping quite a lot of heat. So that there was quite a lot, not enough heat dissipation, uh, which was causing the, the uh, radiator to warm up excessively. So what I've done is I've uh, just cut out my radiator around my dust filter, added some uh, fan protection grills just to make sure that all stays safe. And uh, I'll give you a look at that now. So you can see that the radiator is exposed, but this helps dissipate heat a lot better. So this should bring the temperature down quite considerably. So I'm going to give you guys a quick preview or comparison to my original test just to see how much of a difference that made. So that's a look at the PC now, moving on to the actual test. So running the i9-9900K at 5.1 gigahertz. I'm gonna use the same overclock that I did the last time. So running at 2130 megahertz on the core with 700 megahertz added to the memory, 100 voltage use. And uh, those are exactly the same settings as I used before. So I'm just gonna drop CPU Z. I'm just gonna keep um, GPU Z up just to monitor the max temperature throughout this test going to be using Final Fantasy 15 V benchmark so I'm going to be running at high quality settings which is the highest preset and I'm going to be using 3840 by 2160 so I did get myself a thermometer so I can give you the ambient temperature and that happens to be 24 degrees right now so with all that being said let's get into the test you're good you're good you're good. And stop. Y'all take care. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. So looking good so far. 34 to 35 degrees Celsius, which is definitely an improvement. Now, going from push to push pull won't give you a dramatic increase, but I believe in my situation with the Chrome Take View 71 um, top panel being a uh, tempered glass, it was trapping quite a lot of the heat, and as a result, it was kind of heat soaking the radiator and it wasn't dissipating the heat nearly as quickly enough. So, the modification I made by removing the glass um, top panel and then just adjusting my um, dust filter to expose the radiators has definitely increased the airflow and that's um, showing showing quite a lot here with over five degrees reduction in heat so far Easy now. So just so you guys are aware, the benchmark is the same, but there is slight variations um, as it is AI after all. So it won't be exactly the same every single time, but it will be fairly consistent. Now I am using the Galax 380 watt BIOS on my RTX 2080 Ti, so I can draw a maximum or, or a little bit over 380 watts. This isn't something you get by stock usually the um, RTX 2080 Ti will cap out about 280 watts so I'm putting an extreme amount of heat through the GPU which is why I've opted for this um, extreme cooling solution if you want to run over 2100 megahertz on your core for the you're going to need um, nice with you. exotic cooling and you're going to definitely going to need a BIOS flash which will help you maintain those stable clocks and avoid fluctuations as you can see there 
2130 megahertz, rock solid. It's showtime. If you're curious about the software I'm using, it is MSI Afterburner. It does have an on-screen display function. And this is what I'm using to monitor some statistics in real time, like GPU temperature, core clock, memory usage, TPU usage, and power draw, etc. It won't look like this though. You do need to customize it to your own layout. So this is one of the more demanding parts of the benchmark. You can see there, just climbing up to 37 degrees Celsius now. So almost reaching the equilibrium. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what the maximum temperature is by the end of the test. So final scenes of the benchmark now. Um, still maintaining 37 degrees. Probably will eventually touch 38 by the looks of things, but that will pretty much be as far as it goes. But yeah, definitely reducing temperature here. And there's a welcome reduction. Um, again, just touch 38. The lower the GPU, the better chance you have of maintaining a stable overclock. So just a slight variation there to the score. A slight, slight bit lower, but again, as I said, there is uh, slight differences each time you run the test. So you do have to run multiple runs and get an average. But what I can say is the maximum temperature reported was 39 degrees. I don't remember seeing it go to 39, but that's the highest that was reported. And uh, that is... Um, a five degree difference um, in max temp so I'm happy with that and that was just for uh, removing a panel on the top of my um, case and uh, adding an extra three fans in push pull configuration so um, definitely a very very capable cooling solution and that's thoroughly tamed my RTX 180 Ti so I'm happy with that hopefully this video has been interesting for you guys um, I've been happy to share it with you Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.